Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Paige if you are new here. I would really appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe button down below. If you are not new here, thank you for watching another video. So guys, you guys can see by the title of today's video, I am graduating today. And it's just such a surreal feeling that I'm getting my associate's degree today. Like, I know I've been in college for two years, but it just feels like so surreal. But anyway, so yeah, today is graduation day, which is why I look crazy right now. Um, I woke up not that long ago and I just had like some food and now it's like pretty much time to start getting ready So it's 1230 right now um, So I'm about to take a shower. I have to uh, shave. I washed my hair last night, which is why it kind of looks like crazy right now um, So yeah, I wanted to just film like a get ready with me for graduation because I thought that, that would be pretty fun so yeah, like I said, right now I'm about to take a shower and then I will see you guys after. Alright guys, out of the shower. I'm all clean now. Um, I lotioned up. I just put my hair back like this so it doesn't have too much volume because I'm going to straighten it. So I want it to be nice and flat. And then I just put on like some random clothes. Um, so right now we're about to do my makeup. My makeup usually doesn't take too long. And just to give you guys like a timestamp, it is now 1.24. So I do have to leave the house by 3.30, so I'm trying to like hurry up. Um, so yeah, we're about to do my makeup right now. I don't want this video to be like crazy long, so I'm just going to try to like tell you like everything I do like really quick. So first things first, I go in with this Sun Touchable Woe Glow SPF 30 sunscreen. So it's a sunscreen and makeup primer. And it's just by e.l.f. Um, I just started using this stuff recently and it has like a tint to it if you can tell. Um, but yeah, I like the way that this like feels and smells. Um, because it's protecting your face but it's also priming your face for makeup. So I think it's a good product. And it says it in the name of course but it just makes you like super like glowy and I love that. So next I like to go on with this Maybelline Fit Me Tinted Moisturizer. Um, if you guys know me by now, you know that I like a good like natural makeup look. So I don't need to do anything crazy with like heavy foundations or anything. And I also feel like I have like pretty clear skin. So I don't feel like I need to do anything crazy. But this shade in particular is a little bit dark for me. Um, but usually when I blend it out, it just looks like I have a tan. And then when I go in with my concealer, it kind of like brightens me up. So you guys will see. Um, this is definitely more of like a summer shade for me. But I just prefer to use this. And as you can see, I'm just going to blend it in with my fingers. And I always blend like to my neck too. So it's like all even. Alright, so once I feel like it's blended in pretty well, I'm going to go in with my concealer. So I just use the e.l.f camo concealer because I hear that this is the dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. I think I talked about this in my Mexico video when I did the little get ready with me. Um, I've never tried the Tarte Shape Tape but I do love this. I think it has pretty good coverage. So I literally just go in like in my forehead because I break out there and then I put it under my eyes um, just because um, you know to brighten them up. I go in with a beauty blender and I just get it a little wet with some Mario Badesco spray squeeze it out and then go in all right so then once I'm done with concealer sorry if the lighting isn't the best in here if you guys can't really like see what I'm doing but once I'm done with concealer I go in with the Maybelline fit me powder this is in the shade 110 um, I kind of use this just as like a way to bake and I use a big fluffy brush from elf to kind of just like go over everything and just set everything in. All right, so after that, I'm going in with the Physician Formula Butter Bronzer. My like top like literally broke off of this, so I've just been kind of using it as I can. And I go in with a powder brush. So I just get all the products on there, always tap it off. And then I'm gonna go in on my cheekbones and my um, tops of my head. Sometimes I'll go back in with this brush after just to kind of like blend it in if it looks like a little too dark. And then after that I'm going in with the Milani Highlight. Um, this one's called Baked Powder Blush. It's in the shade 5. 
And I'll just go in with this e.l.f. Complexion Duo brush. And this stuff is also very pigmented, so I just do a little bit on my cheekbones. And then lastly, not lastly, but lastly for like face, I'm going in with the Milani Highlight. This one is the Afterglow Luminescence Nocturne Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder. This is in the shade 1. And then I'm going in with an e.l.f. highlighting brush. Brush. And I'm going to go at the very, very top of my cheekbones, above where we just put the blush. I'm also going to put it on the tip of my nose. I love a good highlight, so I, like, don't really, like, tap it off that much. Alright, so after my, like, face makeup is done, I'm going to go in with my eyelash curler and just curl my lashes. So again, like I said, I like to just do a natural makeup look, so I don't really typically do any, like, eyeshadow or anything, unless I'm, like going somewhere where I'm like going to a wedding or something and I feel like I want to but I don't feel like I need to today it's pretty hot out so I don't want to have like a full face makeup and like just be sweating at all I don't know anyway I just don't prefer to do eyeshadow that much so I'm just going in with this eyelash curler to curl my lashes all right and then once my lashes are curled I just bought this mascara recently so the mascara that I love to use is the um, L'Oreal Telescopic and I'm running out of that one, so I wanted to get a new one, and I saw that they have this one at Target. So this is Telescopic Lift, so it's supposed to make you look like you have a lash lift. Um, so I'm still getting used to using it because it just takes me some time to adjust to new mascaras. But yeah, so I'm just going to go in with this mascara for my first layer. Definitely really hot in this bathroom, but... I have the door closed because the animals will be in here and they will be all over my camera and yeah but it's really hot in here. Alright so I usually just do one coat for that mascara so this is how it looks and I definitely love mascara like mascara is my favorite part of my makeup routine because I just like it pulls everything together. So now I'm just going to go in with the regular telescopic and do a second coat and do my bottom lashes. I had to open the door guys it's so hot. Alright, so now that I feel like my mascara is pretty much done, I'm just going to go in with a Q-tip and kind of like clean up any mess that it made. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm just going to go in with lips. So I'm going to start with this EOS Chapstick, which is very moisturizing. And then before I continue with lips, I'm going to go back in with the highlighter with a smaller brush. But any small brush will do, but I'm just going to use this one for today. And I'm going to go in in the corner of my eyes. To just make me look more awake. I'm going to go in again in the tip of my nose. I'm going to go in on my eyebrows. And then on my cupid's bow. And then over top of my chapstick I just use the glossy eye lip gloss. And then that's pretty much the makeup look guys. The last thing that I do is go in with the e.l.f. Matte Magic Mist and Set. So pretty much just e.l.f. setting spray. And I spray it literally all over my face. You want to make it look like your face is just like wet. I'm definitely getting low on this stuff. But yeah, you want your face to look pretty much like this. So yeah, that is pretty much it for makeup. I'm going to start my hair in a few minutes. Alright guys, so it's almost like 2 o'clock now. And... I am about to straighten my hair. Now, for being honest, I, like, never use heat on my hair, so I have, like, no heat protectant products, but it's okay because today is a special occasion and probably literally the only time I'm going to be straightening my hair anytime, like, recently. So, yeah, I'm just going to start by separating my hair sections. And I have obviously uh, some time, like I told you guys I don't have to leave until 3.30 so I don't know how long my hair is going to take. I literally haven't straightened my hair on my own in so long. But yeah, I don't even have like a straightener, like I literally had to borrow my grandma's because I'm telling you guys like I don't ever use heat on my hair on my own. I get my hair done every like 6 to 8 weeks and then I usually just have like her straighten it. So yeah, but like I said, today is a special occasion so we are going to straighten it. Because I think it'll just look the best, and I personally love when my hair is straightened. Even though my natural curls don't look bad right now, but moral of the story is we are straightening it. 
So I'm separating my hair. I'm going to brush it out. And once it warms up, we're pretty much just going to start. I'm going to start in little pieces and then just go all the way around. So yeah, again, I don't know how long this is going to take, but we do have like an hour and a half before we have to leave. And I already know what I'm wearing and everything. I just have to get it out of the closet. So this is pretty much like the last like big step you could say. So yeah, I'm just going to straighten my hair. While I do my hair, I think I'm going to put on um, Vampire Diaries on my phone. I've seen Vampire Diaries literally like a million times, but I'm re-watching it because I just love re-watching my comfort shows. And yeah, if you guys have never seen Vampire Diaries, you should really watch it because it is one of my favorite shows ever. Alright guys, so I did most of it off camera, so my hair is pretty much done now, so this is how I'm looking. So right now I'm about to just put a little hairspray in it. I don't know if you guys care, but I'm just using the Tresemme Extra Hold Hairspray. And then I'm just going to brush it out after I spray it in there, because you don't want your hair getting hard. And I don't really use hairspray often, I just use it for like situations like this so I don't have any like pieces sticking up and yeah guys it's only 2.41 right now because I wanted to make sure I had enough time to get ready so now I'm pretty much just going to get dressed put dinner and perfume on all that good stuff put jewelry on and then I'll be pretty much ready to go um I have like a little less than an hour before I have to leave so I'll probably like touch up my hair again before I leave brush my teeth things like that um, so yeah, I will just see you guys when I get the outfit on. Alright guys, so I'm all dressed now. Let me show you guys the outfit. So this is the dress that I'm wearing. I got it from Sheen. I wore it in Mexico, if you guys remember. And look at the bump today. She's looking nice and big, looking super cute. So yeah, this is the outfit. And then I'm gonna put my, sorry, please ignore our messy room. I'm gonna put my white Birkenstocks on with this. Um... So yeah, this is pretty much the outfit. The only thing left that I have to do is, like I told you guys, put some deodorant on, lotion, perfume, put some earrings on. So I'm going to show you guys, like, the last few steps. So this is the deodorant I use. I just use Dove Spray. I don't use, like, a particular scent or anything. Every time I get a new one, I just get a new scent. And then the perfume I'm going to wear today is the Bombshell Seduction by Victoria's Secret. I just spray it literally all around myself i'll probably put more on once i have on um my cap and gown as well and then don't come at me for not matching my lotion my scents right now but i'm gonna use my elastic cream from sol de janeiro as lotion sorry guys this angle is like literally awful don't know what else but you guys okay that's better all right i'm gonna put my rings on now i pretty much wear these rings every day um i used to wear them like a lot more often but lately i've just been wearing them like when i remember to put them on so yeah i have my rings on for right now and then um i have to put my earrings in so let me go grab them i'm just gonna wear these basic little silver hoops all right guys and this is pretty much the finished look what do you guys think like I said, I'm going to throw on my white Birkenstocks with this, and then I'm pretty much ready to go. I'm going to throw on my gown real quick so you guys can get, like, the full effect, and then I'll show you guys how it looks. Alright guys, I have my gown on now, so I'm pretty much all ready to go, so I'll show you guys the fit one more time. So this is the full fit. I just put my white Birkenstocks on. Yeah, this is pretty much how we're looking. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of today's Get Ready With Me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a comment down below, subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and comment down below any future videos you would like to see from me. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for being a part of my little Get Ready With Me journey today. And if you guys want to see any pictures that are taken today, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'll put it right here. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Get some in now, cut your edge out To some ice, but you'll be heavy in my mind Can you get the heck out? I need rest now, got me bummed out You so, you so, you, baby, baby